is a family and marriage conference, and every year we hold it in a different community. It's for families, for children, for teens and adults. We really kind of have three big programs going on in one day. We provide different uh, tracks for teenagers, for children, for the adults, so the whole family can come together. The main purpose is to kind of introduce people to Family Bridges, get them a taste of what we do. It's kind of like having a, a little banquet table they get to sample. You know, a little of this and a little of that. What's exciting about this uh, conference is that it makes that accessible to everyone. You don't have to pay $200 registration fee and you don't have to go to another state to be able to have access. It's a very cultural sensitive. We have a lot of worship in the Spanish speaking that is no many around. Families who maybe there's one or the other reluctant to go for counseling, but this is, can be kind of an icebreaker to get them talking about marriage issues. In the Latino culture, men are not used to worrying about relationships. The fact that I'm here and I see men, it's unique. You don't see that. And we really hope to bring some healthy relationship skills um, to people in a very fun, family-friendly way. There's nothing in Chicago like Family Bridges. The fact that people are responding such an overwhelming manner the way they did today is amazing. It's an organization to help families um, come closer together. We want to be able to make this accessible and available for everyone in the family because if we have a program just for couples, well, what are they going to do with their kids? Kids also need conflict resolution and anger management. Adding something for the youth, it was it was kind of like new. And so now it's not only mom and dad. Now I'm 16 and I can come and be part of the group again. When we work with the families, we are helping the community to be strong, to be a better community. and. Uh, Everything is starting family relationships. Families can come and get skills um, that they can use on an individual level within their own family, but then when they pass on what they've learned to their neighbors, to their friends at church, to their community, um, it's sort of a spark that keeps growing. Every single person that is working here, it's focused on what we're doing, believe in what we're doing, and that shows. I volunteer because I believe in Family Bridges. I have seen the results. We probably would be working with couples even if Family Bridges wasn't around. This is a personal passion. I love our team that we work with, all our partners, and all our staff. We couldn't do this type of event without them. We should be having over 100 volunteers. All of the workshops and all the programming, there's volunteers in all aspects. We've got child care providers that are certified from administration to being ushers to helping people as they register so we definitely need to have volunteers because our staff of 10 people is not gonna <laughs> cut it. Today what I was responsible for was for the MC for the teens. We had a lot of fun, all the kids were involved. We had discussion circles and you know they'd ask us questions and we would just kind of you know give our opinion on it. Because it was easy to talk to people because they said that whatever you said there was going to stay there so you felt comfortable you felt like you didn't have to be embarrassed to say what you really think. Because even the people that, like the leaders, they were almost our age, and it was really easy to communicate with them. Probably the biggest thing that they take away is hope that they can learn new skills so that they can make healthy change. I feel that at the end of the day, the families come closer together by talking about the event, uh, what happened, you know, tell me about yourself, tell me about what, what you guys did. That, that little moment right there could be impacting for the family. It's, it's very rewarding to work for an organization that is trying to build a better family and a better country. And the only organization that I've seen in Chicago that is fighting to achieve that is Family Bridges. And I consider it an honor to be part of uh, their conferences. You know, having already impacted over 30,000 families, it's serving to be a model that not only does the work need to be done, it can be done. It's really exciting to have families come together, spend time together, fellowship with each other, but also learning about what makes a, a strong family. I think it's an opportunity to, to go somewhere with very qualified people to, to speak on different family issues that you just can't get anywhere else. It's the emotional spa that we all need in our lives.